so hello everyone this is ananya bish and i am currently a second year student at iit kanpur pursuing btech in civil engineering and today we have with us adima and she is from iit jodhpur currently pursuing a btech in computer science and engineering so over to you adima to do introduce yourself a little bit thank you ananya uh, so hello everyone i am adima kohli and i am currently a computer science and engineering undergraduate in right. my final year at iit jodhpur Right, great. So, Alma, my first question to you is that what made you choose this branch during your own JOSA counseling, or in other words, if I ask that, what were the other options that you were getting at that time that you rejected to get this one? Uh, yeah. So, uh, initially, uh, when I got my J rank, and I had to choose between colleges. So, the first thing mm -hmm. I did was I, I took the results of previous years. I compared right. that at what branch. at what rank what branch uh -huh. can be taken or what are the different cutoffs which right. are available and my interest was generally in computer science or in physics related fields mm -hmm. so i thought that either i would go for computer science or for electrical engineering right so when i checked for the cutoffs i was sure that i might be getting computer science in some of the new iits right. or maybe some of the nits or right. i might be getting some uh, some branches like electrical i was also getting branches like civil engineering on in some mm -hmm. older iits right but i thought that if that is not my preference mm -hmm. i would won't be able to change my branch right. then i wouldn't be much interested in studying those subjects uh -huh. and that domain so right. my preference was to take a particular branch instead of a particular college college right great so, uh, so what that is my plan Right, right. So, what is computer science and engineering all about? If you could explain it to the students who might be watching it in layman's language. Yeah. So, I think most of the students might have heard that CSC, computer right. science, is the best branch. Hmm. So, uh, best branch. Uh, like, I think all the branches are really good because everything right. is needed in this world. Exactly. Um, but computer science and engineering generally there is a myth. especially when you enter college and you hmm. uh, start learning about what's actually happening what is needed for placements right. there is a myth that uh, it is only about dsa or all you need right. data structures and algorithms huh. so this will be one course uh, if you say computer science or even if you enter college you will hear data structure dsa dsa but it's hmm. much more than that computer science and engineering uh, if you take the name it's about computer science so right. there are many things like uh, learning about operating systems about databases hmm. about algorithms their complexities and also nowadays we have this domain of machine learning artificial right. intelligence hmm. all these things are co covered under computer science and engineering from in our college we have many uh, courses related to machine learning and artificial intelligence as well right. and uh, from the upcoming back Actually, we have this new branch also of artificial intelligence and data science. Right, right. So, uh, what were the major courses and electives that you have studied so far? If you could name some of them. Okay, so um, initially in my first year, we had this introduction to computer science right. course. Right. Other than that, in first year, we generally have courses from all the branches, like from bioengineering, right, from right. mechanical. It right. was more of a mixture. in our second year we had courses like data structures and algorithms mathematics for computing all these courses uh, helped in laying a basic foundation of maths and computer science which is needed to understand some high level algorithms right. in our third year we had the um, core courses um, our first semester of third year was filled with operating systems database management data analysis and machine learning and uh, there was one course designed in analysis of algorithm i think that was one of the toughest courses we had then we had in fourth year we had courses like parameterized complexity right. and computer networks other than this uh, we had electives in various domains our college provides electives hmm. in blockchain in artificial intelligence machine learning software engineering and uh, data science so uh, these are the different things we opted also there were electives related to iot and new technologies like mobile and pervasive computing 
right right so uh, uh, talking about academic flexibility so do you guys also have um, the uh, option to pursue a minor in any other field if you want in college yeah our college is very open to minors and specializations right. and there is almost no restriction in hmm. this anyone from any branch can opt for suppose someone wants to opt for a uh, minor in artificial intelligence or specialization in my uh, artificial intelligence right even uh, other than these engineering branches we can also opt for minor in management hmm. there is a, a school of management and entrepreneurship sme right. which we call in our college so we can opt for their courses as well we can take them in open electives or hmm. we can take them as minors or specialization courses right right great so uh, right as you mentioned earlier that a lot of specialized courses are also being uh, offered in many different iits like data science and machine learning and uh, there's a new degree also in bsc in my college and in various other colleges uh, called bsc in mathematics and computing so uh, in your opinion do you think uh, it is advisable to do uh, such a specialized course or do you think like csc would be a better opportunity for the one who wants to explore this field i think it depends on the person where their interests lie but right. absolutely these are the things which are emerging right now these are hmm. the technologies which are much in demand right. we have often uh, we often talk to our professors about what are the various emerging technologies because right. our professors are often in contact with the industry huh. experts and exactly. there is extensive focus on research in machine learning and artificial intelligence in our college as well Right. so what we have always heard from industry experts in various seminars too that mm-hmm. machine learning and artificial intelligence computing all these things are really emerging and in demand, if we right. are able to yeah, yeah if we are able to learn these things within our college curriculum so that's the greatest thing we right. can have right great so uh, also like uh, we, i think at it jodhpur also we have this uh, facility to change your branch at the end of the first year so what's usually the cut off for changing a branch to csc in your college i believe it's about uh, a cgpa should be greater than 8.5 or 9 okay. in general if the cgpa is greater than 9 then it's very easy to change the branch but hmm. then again it also depends on the number of students and right. how huh. many branches are present so right right there are many factors right great so moving on and talking a little bit more about internships and placements so how was your own internship experience and in general the different internship opportunities that are available to students from this branch uh, yeah so in general in colleges we have internships from third year but hmm. in our, our college uh, we have also have these opportunities from different companies from hmm. first or second year itself right in my second year i was selected in the microsoft engage program so uh, there i spent my sec- uh, second year summers uh, actually at that time it was online so hmm. i participated there and we made some project right. then later in my third year i joined this company uh, this this is a chinese firm where hmm. i was given task of making a pe- parser so this was something which was a core computer science task where right. i had to use concepts from principles of programming next other than that our college placement and internship is really good especially for csc i believe for placements in for the past 3 4 years we have been having 100% placements in csc mm-hmm. so that's pretty good and our package is also i think the details are mentioned in our career development sales right. website so if the students want they can always check out all the right. details right. and most of the major companies like microsoft amazon they always visit our hmm. campus right great so uh, i was just going to uh, talk about placements only in my next question so the next question was that how is the placement scenario and the major companies that come to recruit as you already mentioned earlier i guess and the roles that they offer in general to the students okay so um the name of the companies can be found i hmm. can tell you the roles in general right. the roles are related to software development because most of the uh, cse students right. are interested in going into software development and engineering the hmm. best part is uh, most of these companies keep these roles open for all the branches in our right. college hmm. there are a few companies which have some restrictions like only for cse right. only for cse hmm. or elect 
but in general most of these roles are open and almost anyone can apply and get selected so the roles are of software development software engineering uh, many nowadays we have this role of data scientist ml engineer right. as well right other than this we have some analyst roles and recently uh, we have been having roles like product management non core roles hmm. uh, like uh, finance banking related to analysis and all so right. these are some non non core roles which have been emerging lately right so how are the placement scenario in, uh, scenarios in other sectors as well like business and finance and consulting so what's the scene of your college in those areas yeah as of now as we have observed uh, the scene is good uh, right. everyone is getting placed in whatever mm -hmm. role they are applying right, and right. this year statistics will be released later but if we watch last year statistics it's pretty good right. most of the students uh, go for software engineering hmm. then there are uh, every year we have seen this increase in number of non core students who want to right. opt for financial roles other right. than this there are core students as well who have gone into core electrical mm -hmm. other than this there is also this field of research right. in our junior batches a large number of students are now opting for research, research in machine learning well. right. or core branch yeah right great so uh, talking about your own batch so do you have uh, some idea of the approximate ratio of the people who are setting for placements or going for research or high studies in foreign universities yeah i don't think so i have a, an exact uh, any right. ratio hmm. but i know a, a couple of people like uh, i think i personally know 10 or 20 students who want right. to go for research or higher right. studies so it must be a large number right great so yeah moving on and talking about the academic load of the branch so in your opinion how tough or easy was uh, to study csc so far okay so this is uh, this is something which people of csc and right. at least in our college know right, it right. becomes hectic sometimes it becomes hmm. quite hectic uh, you have uh, various subjects which require a lot of practice and there are a lot of assignments lot of lab uh, lab assignments hmm. then we have projects also in because in csc in every subject you can make some project right. even if you are at home you can Haan. make some project because everything is on your laptop right so that is something which becomes pretty hectic i believe that first and second year are not very hectic hmm. but uh, third year first semester is quite busy in csc right. but uh, this is something which teaches us time management right, and exactly. if we are able to go through that so that also helps us in placement or anyone who goes for higher studies and research because once you go through all that grill and you learn hmm. so many things together so that's something which changes you completely right that's uh, that's a really good point that you raised over here that it teaches you a lot of endurance and patience during these tough times True. yeah it's a great thing so uh, yeah i think that was all about internships and placements so moving on and talking a little more about the non academic life at iit jodhpur so how far uh, how has your own experience been so far to be a student at iit jodhpur I think uh, these four years are the best four years of my right, life. Right, right. We have so many. Uh, we have so many activities, so many clubs, and the best part is you are surrounded by the best people from all over India. Hmm. They are not only good academic wise; they are also they have good personalities. Or even if we didn't have good personalities in our initial years, in four years we have developed ourselves so much. Right. We often go out. Uh, Uh, go to the city. We have fun together. We hmm. go on trips. We also try to, uh, from time to time, we try to have games or we participate in club activities. Like right. I am in dramatics club. Hmm. Uh, for the past few uh, months, I haven't been very active. But in my first, I was right. very active there. And the fun part is enjoying with the seniors. Right, right. Interacting with the seniors. Right, and getting to know their experience. So many things right. about. Huh. Today. yeah exactly yeah so that's that's something one will always remember these experiences are what make these four years right right 
great and uh, i think the, the experience are the best part at an iit and interacting with seniors as you mentioned it uh, right and this is your experience uh, in your stay at iit itself yeah so moving on and the next question is uh, kind of really popular among the students who are willing to join colleges in the upcoming semester and that is what should a person go for while choosing their branch or college during counseling should they prefer a better branch or a better college so what's your take on this okay so this was the most confusing part i right. think that <laughs> thing it will always be. so uh, what you have to do i think you need to optimize it right you have to optimize it you have to see that what do you prefer you pre you give preference to your branch or Hash. do you give preference to college i think it's both or both the things are important you cannot take branch in the sense that you are not interested in it hmm. some time csc can be a very bad branch for someone right huh. or some other branch can be really good for someone so i think one should go with their interest and uh, right. because you have to see that in case you are not able to change your branch then you have to stay with that for four years right right so you have to study right. all that so i think branch should be given a little more preference hmm. other than that obviously uh, college should also be good because otherwise you might have to struggle a little bit more but there is always a way even if uh, you take anything you have to work hard you have to manage everything and there is always a way out right right great so uh, the next question is that uh, what do you think in your opinion is a differentiating factor if you have found any between the newer iits new generation iits and the older iits so what's your take on this okay so i believe uh, the old in older iits uh, there are a large number of students and hmm. their alumni base is really really strong Hmm. so due to that uh, many of the large firms and companies prefer going to old iits right but for the new iits the benefit is that uh, since the new iits try their best to catch hmm. up right so there are a lot of seminars a lot huh. of workshops and so we get to interact with the industry experts almost every day right and uh, the new iits also have new facilities huh. the laboratories everything the infrastructure is also great right. so better one right. is able to live to the best experience yeah right great so i think uh, with this we came towards the end of the interview just one last question before going and that is uh, what is a message from your side that you would like to give to the students who will be watching this okay so i believe my message is that wherever you go uh, whatever you do there is right. always a way out right. don't stress too much don't think that oh my god i didn't get my branch i didn't hmm. get my preferred college this is the end of the world no it is not uh, if you work hard if you try your best just interact with your seniors uh, go to linkedin search for yeah. people interact with them try to gain knowledge as much as you can and apply that knowledge so everything will be good even okay. if after 4 years even if you are not getting placed or any hmm. problem is there someday you will yeah. figure out things and yeah you will eventually good. find so, a way out right right yeah. that was uh, indeed a beautiful message to end this interview with uh